When I tell you I've tried filming this like 17 times, I'm not exaggerating. This lighting keeps changing on me like every three minutes. And so I kind of just, we're just going to deal with it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, so hi, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here today. Hopefully we are going to film, um, my TikTok made me buy this video. So I have a whole bunch of different products. All of them actually are first impressions. And then on top of that, a lot of them or things that TikTok or Instagram or YouTube has been hyping up lately. So I like had to try them because like FOMO, I was having major FOMO. So um, we are gonna just jump right in because I'm not joking. I've been trying this for like the last 30 minutes and we have to leave to go get our kids soon because school's almost out. And today's my youngest's birthday and we're gonna go golfing after this for his birthday. So. Do I need to be putting a full face of makeup on? No. Am I? Yes. Will I regret it? Yes. I mean, I have super frizzy hair, but we're going to have makeup on. So yay. So the first product I have is the NYX Professional Makeup, the Marshmallow Primer. Um, I'm not a huge primer person. I don't have like anything on my skin right now. I might have some moisturizer left over from like this morning, but actually I've worked out and showered since then. So it's probably not even on my face anymore. So um, this, I've heard, this is like a primer. That's not, I've heard it smells like marshmallow. I want to say it smells like marshmallow. It smells like I'm just smelling my fingers. It's like, it is like a, it's a weird texture. Not even a, I mean, it smooths out. Probably put way too much on. But I wouldn't say it smells like marshmallow. Why? Why do I like all these videos? Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it smells just like it. No, to me, this smells like, it smells like Barbie and I feel like I say that about everything but like like a fake you know like when you used to get dolls that would have like would be scented and how oh, I don't even know it does not smell like marshmallow I don't know why everyone was hyping that up as much as they were um I mean it feels nice it really does like it kind of feels hydrating I don't really know much about it you it says use alone or a foundation I mean, it feels nice on the skin. It's not sticky at all. And for foundation, I have the e.l.f. Um, Camo CC Cream, and I picked this up in light 210. It looks like it might be a little dark for me, slash, I don't know, oh, maybe not too bad. Um, I am, like I said, so this has an SPF of 30 in it. Perfect, since we're going golfing after this. Along the back of my hands. Like it's gonna come. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna do two squirts. I don't really think I'm gonna use that much at all because I'm just gonna try and do a light coverage. So I have a wet beauty sponge. Kind of pounce it out. Yeah, that color's not gonna be too bad. I think I can make it work. Um, again, we'll get this color on these videos figured out soon. It's it drives me absolutely crazy. So. Might be a little bit orange for me, but on camera it doesn't look as bad. But dang, for a CC, I'm mean, granted, yes, I know it's two pumps, which I'm usually like a one pump for the full face kind of gal, but this kind of has like a yellow undertone, but that's just because I chose a bad color. The joys of like ordering makeup online. Again, I've seen so many videos and TikToks and Instagram, like stories and stuff like on all of these products. However, I don't really remember if anybody actually liked any of them. And, but to the same point, makeup is so different for everybody. You know what I mean? Like some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people want matte. Some people want dewy. Um, so far. I mean, I still have a decent amount on the back of my hand, which I'm not going to use because this did do a pretty good coverage. I just like a light coverage of everything. I will say you can totally see it on my skin. I'm not going to give these like full first impressions because it's all new products. It could be the primer that it doesn't sit well with. I can just, it just doesn't feel like it's like sinking into my skin at all. Um, like I do can, I can just kind of see it sitting on the top of my skin, but again, this is a new primer. It could just be the primer. I'm not gonna like write it off, but so far 
quick first impression, it's okay. It's not like amazing, but we'll see. Okay, so foundation is done. I also found a concealer. Um, I don't really remember this. So this is a Winky Lux, which I don't think I've ever used anything from them. Oh, yeah, I've never used something like this. I'm gonna shake it, put a little bit on the back of my hand. So this I picked up in the shade light beige. So this is a full coverage under eye concealer. This is a product that I just stumbled upon when I was buying these products on Target and I was like, oh, let's try that. So this one, I honestly haven't heard anything about, but like the packaging, do you see that? It's like shiny. How cute is that? It's got like all the different eyeballs on it. <laughs> it's cute. Just did a very little amount. Seems to be a good like color match. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna do it on here because otherwise I'm gonna go crazy. I just know. With full coverage, I always, like if I put it straight onto my face and I'm always just like, oh, that was way too much. And I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do this. I still have like this really weird dry situation going on in my eyebrows more so on the right side so like they're extra red and extra extra dry so let's see if any of the makeup collects to it and if it does i mean i'm not gonna hold it against it because it's bad right now like so bad all right i'm gonna pick up any extra extra that i had i still have a decent amount i probably only use like a pump pump and a half on my face um only using like that much it's still just you can totally see it on my face i don't know if you can see it in the camera Ooh, 4k that's really close no one looks cute in 4k at that close all right so moving on i also picked up the elf um putty blush in bora bora i have heard so much about this like so much about this i love cream products now and i mean now because i used to hate them I've heard so much like look at how cute that is so I am going to pick it up on oh this makes me a little anxious it truly truly does oh let's just use this okay we're gonna go let's just see what it feels like it like literally looks just like a lip balm so just gently I feel like oh, you can't even see it on here in person it's like all over um, I feel like I heard that these are super pigmented and so I'd rather start out with a little bit and build on it versus being too much. Okay, I'm going to try and just go in just with my sponge and see just to like make it less of a mess. I went really high up on my cheek. Cute. A little extra on the nose. Oh, I like that. I feel like, okay, you can't, even on camera, like it's way more pigmented in person. Let's see, will this make it better? Me, me. Can you, this is just like a flop of the video. It definitely moved my foundation, like something fierce. It moved my foundation. So I don't know, like so far I'm like, I mean the, so far the concealer, but I just think it's my backdrop that throws it off. But now, like again, my hair, it's like doing what it did last time where I looked gray, but I feel like you can see my true color skin now and it's not like playing tricks on you. So, um, I mean, I hope you can see because like I just stared into the lights for so long. Like I just see spots everywhere, but I don't know. So far, not impressed. Um, I do really like this color of blush and maybe I just put on too much, but even then like, I feel like you should be able to put in as they put on more i feel like you should be able to put on blush to build it up and it not move your makeup around like it did um like right here like all the foundation is completely gone i don't know if it's showing up on here or not but okay we're gonna see we'll see hey when they don't go well you know what i mean like it makes me like want to not even film anymore but i'm not gonna stop i'm not gonna stop because we're not quitters so now, I almost wanna do like a separate video with this um, because ugh, like I'm so excited for this. This is a L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear 
foundation powder. I picked mine up in shade 220, which looks a little dark for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set all these cream products. So I'm just gonna pick up a big fluffy brush and I'm not going to expect this to have too much coverage. Um, I know that they said, which does it come with? Oh, it does come with a little thing. Um, the videos I've seen on this, like oh, the amount of coverage on it, I think would be so wonderful in the summer months. Um, just to help keep you like mattified and like everything in place. Because if it's a cream product, it's going to move around on you something fierce. But if you're wearing just product, just powdered products, you should be good. Um, gosh, when I'm just using natural light, my eye color, like, it just changes so much. Like it's so much darker in person than it is on here. So, all right. So I just set my face with this powder. Oh yeah. It feels like it's completely set all over and I didn't really use it. I mean, it looks like I barely even touched it. Um, I'm really excited. I want to do like a full face, like full foundation with just this, like just like spot conceal underneath, like highlight underneath and then put this on. So I totally want to try that. Um, Actually, now that I have that powder on, it doesn't look that bad to me because I'm gonna add more blush because I have another blush product. So it's not the end of the world. I feel like it might've just been an extra step that I didn't necessarily need. Um, but <sighs> see, look at how much darker my eyes are when I'm back away from the window. And then when I get closer, how much they line up. But anyways, this video is a hot mess. Welcome to my life. Okay, so this product is also another product that I just stumbled upon on Target's website. And I am so excited for this. Um, this is the Physician's Formula All Star, All Star Face Palette. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Slash, it smells good. And then also has like a grandma under scent to it. Oh, wait, let's go. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> do you, like, okay, it's looking white. This is like straight up silver, straight up silver. Um, fun fact, this used to be like, I don't know if it was this exact one, but I, my first bronzer I ever remember buying was Physician's Formula and it looks like this, like the multicolored in there. So I have, um, this is the new matte bronzer from them. And then also has like the classic butter bronzer, um, a gold highlight, a silver, like white highlight. And then like, all these five are all limited edition. This was, I want to say this was $15. Like oh, super stoked. And then, so it's got a blush. And then this is a multi cut. Oh, this is like a pressed powder. So I could have set my face with this even. This is like a dream to travel with, I would imagine, if the products worked out well. So let me get a bronzer brush. I am going to, I'm not going to really contour because these are a little bit too warm of colors to contour, but I'm gonna pick up um, a Morphe R14 brush. I used to be like super into like giant brushes for bronzing, but now I like to be a little bit more like precise with it. I wanna jump into the matte one first because I mean, we all know how the butter performs. <sighs> you saw that kickback, right? And there's no mirror on it. So we're gonna go in with this bigger one. Oh my gosh. There's, oh my gosh. Blend. Oh, bad decisions were made. I don't remember the butter bronzer being this pigmented. But maybe it's because this is a little bit darker of a shade. It's got a little bit more of a terracotta like undertone to it. Oh gosh. It's like orange. It's like a there's so much kickback on this palette. I don't know if you can see, like it's all into this one now. <laughs> okay, do a little bit, lessons learned. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit just to like even out the color. And then we're gonna go in with some of the classic like butter bronzer. I will say it does blend really well, but I can still see like a line right here or something fierce. Oh, I might've had too much faith in this product. And then the excess on the nose. Okay. <laughs> I'm panicking. Like straight up panicking. Should I? I'm going to take a little bit 
I'm gonna take this, my big powder brush, and I'm gonna dip into this powder right here and just see if I can like tone it down some. before I go into the other bronzer. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have, remember when I said I didn't wanna have like full face of makeup? And now I'm gonna have like four layers of bronzer on my face, okay. Maybe, I'm gonna pick up a little, this is what I usually use for powder, but I want it to be like a little bit more dispersed. So I'm going to pick this brush up and go into the classic butter bronzer. And oh my God, that classic smell. It's so good, like it just makes me want summer something fierce okay not panicking as much now i almost need to do my brows because like my brows look like non-existent <sighs> this background this background just drives me crazy but i must just feel like it's what we're gonna deal with i am going to pick up just because this is a little bit messy i'm gonna use a sponge with this infallible and I'm gonna pick up some product and just kind of like do a line, almost like I'm baking. I feel like my face looks super orange right now. <laughs> I feel like this is just a hot mess express, okay. I'm gonna pick up a blush brush and I'm gonna go into this. It says it's a happy booster glow and mood boosting blush. Blush simulate, or er, that's another language. I take that one back. Okay, we're gonna dab and see how much. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I already have some blush on and I'm gonna learn my lesson from the bronzers and not go too ham. a really cute like muted shade I wouldn't say that it has a scent though which I'm totally okay with my nose looks sunburnt now okay I'm just using this brush right here just to help blend everything together there's no product on it I feel like in camera, it doesn't look bad. Not that it looks terrible in person. I just, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but I'm getting really bad, like orange. Like I just feel like I have an orange line. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> so um, I'm also gonna use the highlighter that's in here. Okay, let's swatch. Oh my gosh. Why? I didn't have any. See how it turned like brown? Was it on my, okay, so there's nothing on my finger. That's so strange, because now it's turning brown, see? Okay. Is that how it's supposed to be? I mean, that's bright. I don't think I could put that on my face. Um, I don't quite understand what's going on there. Um, and then the rose gold. So this is rosé all day, which that one's pretty. So I might put a little bit of that one um, on my cheekbones. I'm just gonna pick up with my beauty sponge. That's my favorite way to apply bronzer. But even then, that one's like, you touch it and like, you see how it's got like a different color underneath? Are these just like overlays? Am I new here? Am I having a stroke? I just feel so confused. Okay, you can't even see that. There we go. Oh, shimmer. Any excess on my nose. I'm gonna move my up a little bit. Cupid's bow, I know what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take. Like the Tin Man, oh my gosh. Did TikTok do me dirty or do I just suck at life? Okay, now that it's blended out, it's not as bad. Okay, 
I almost just need to put a lip on because it's distracting me so much. I picked up the lip crayon from Honest Beauty in the shade Sheer Blossom. Again, this was just another one because I was searching for all these other products um, on Target.com that this one appeared and I was like, oh, let's try it. I love lip crayons. Does it have a shimmer to it? Or is it just my lips? It almost feels like a balm, like it feels like it's hydrating. I like lip crayons a lot. Like I just feel like it's an easy application situation. There, now I feel like my lips aren't lost as bad. I feel like my lips are tingling. It could just be my head. I'm losing it. Something fierce, I am losing it. Um, I am going to try something real quick. So this is like a conde really condensed brush. I'm going to pick up the face powder that is in this palette that's supposed to be kind of like a, just an all over face powder and just see if I can tone down the orangeness going on. Or maybe I make it worse. Okay. I feel like there's like no coverage on my nose anymore. I'm gonna jump off real quick, do my brows, and then be right back. Um, for brows, I'll let you know what I use because I have a couple different products here. None of them are new. I'll be right back. I don't know why my brows look so light on camera. Cause in person, they're like the same color as my hair. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, I used um, Benefits Goof Proof and I also use Benefits um, 3D Brow Tones. I don't actually think I've ever used this. Um, this one I will say is a little bit lighter than my hair, but it's not as light as it's coming off in this camera. So don't need to leave a comment. I understand it looks silly. See back here, they kind of look more natural. Should just film from back here. Why am I even doing this? Okay, moving forward. We are going to be using, um, I'm just gonna do a really simple eye look. I picked up the Wet n Wild Color Iconic um, Five Pan in Walking on Eggshells. Um, I don't know when the last time I used Wet n Wild eyeshadow. I want to say like high school, junior high. Um, but from, I guess I didn't want the whole paper on it. We're never going to remember what it's called. Um, but I have seen that these are supposed to be super, super pigmented. Um, I'm just going to put some in my eye. So I'm going to go between, is this a matte? Yeah. So go between these two shades just to like the two. Oh, I guess I could do it like this. Go like this. And we're just gonna go. Maybe put my mirror somewhere that I can actually like see it. Kind of like even everything out before I put on some other shades. I'm gonna go between this shade and this shade because this has a little metallic to it. But I think once I blend it out, a lot of that metallic is gonna go away. I just don't want to go to that super super dark shade yet. I'm gonna run this through my crease. Oh yeah, see, I like that. The metallic definitely like, I will say there was like so much kickback, but also these are like what, $3? So I'm not mad at that. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit underneath. This brush is making my eyes itch. Something fierce. Oh my gosh. That was like the most annoying sensation I've ever had. Okay, I'm gonna go extremely, extremely, extremely lightly, just a little boop, and kick it off just because these seem to be pretty pigmented and I don't want it to be that crazy dark. Okay, the pigmentation is on point. The blending out is on point. This brush is driving me batty, but I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna do another little, I'm just kind of pack it in over here. And then once majority of it's off my brush, then I'll 
go back and forth and I'm barely, like barely touching my eyes right now. Oh, I did a double tap. Might be a little bit too much, let's see. Oh, it's not bad, okay, good. I also, it's a little bit much for the golf course, but um, I picked up e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. Don't really want to put it on. Um, this I got this purely because I have like every single Stila one in all the shades. And if this is like similar, I'm just gonna put a little on and then I'm gonna dab it out with my finger because I just want a l oh my gosh. That is cute. I mean, it's not fully, fully like pigmented. Oh, that was a little bit more. So let's see what this one does. But I'm not trying to go for a full pigmented. Oh yeah, that's gonna be way more. Gonna even it out now. I'm just putting a little bit of that like light tan shade on my brush and going through my crease to get like the excess glitter out of there. Oh, except for like there's glitter everywhere on me now. What I call them a Stila dupe. No, because the Stila ones are better. I'd say it's like a Stila knockoff. And if you're just really wanting some glitter and no like pigmentation underneath it, then go for it. But I definitely think the Stila ones are better. All right, so I open the blinds a little bit so I can like actually see now. Um, I mean, it's pretty, but there's tons of, I don't feel like I get that much fallout when I use my Stila ones, but it's also been a hot minute since I used my Stila ones. So, but also like for the, I mean, you get what you pay for, thousand percent. So. Now, the moment of truth. This is the, I hate how I just throw the trash on the ground. This is, I should have read it before I ripped it, the Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. Okay, I have searched everywhere for this. This one I got in the, did I get the classic or did I get waterproof? I threw the box. I don't know what I got. Um. They weren't kidding when they said that this wand moves a ton. Like, holy moly. Okay. I hate putting mascara on on camera because you, like, pull the most ridiculous faces. But I kind of feel like we have to. Um, I'm not one that I don't curl my lashes. So I'm not going to curl them this time. Also, I'm not one that normally puts on three coats of mascara. But that's what everyone says they do with this mascara, which I feel like any mascara, if you put three coats on, it's gonna make your lashes look insane. Like, either good or bad, it's gonna be intense. So, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. The fact that the wand moves so much makes me anxious because I feel like I'm going to like, just run it across my whole eye. Okay, so that's one coat. And I'll give it like a second coat. My biggest issue with mascara is I get it, it runs on me really bad. So I tend to not put mascara on my lower lashes anymore because that tends to help it not like all under, but. Okay, I'm just gonna do two, but like that is nice. I like that. I do. Okay. I'm going to do the other eye real quick. That is crazy. I can only imagine what three coats would look like, but I'm just doing two. Um, I like that a lot. I really do. And all I have left for you is I picked up the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, has hyaluronic acid in it. Cool. In the shade... Silk, like big doe foot, doe foot. That's a pretty color. I don't remember anything of, oh, that feels nice. 
kind of like coconut-y. Oh, I think it's like a lip plumper because it's got a little bit of a burning situation going on. Or maybe it's just my lips are dry. I don't know. But that is it, guys. Uh, the Hot Mess Express video is finally done. I like the way it all turned out. It's hard to tell what products I do like and don't like. I mean, thousand percent, I like this product. So far, both the lip products I like and the, I believe I like the concealer. We'll see how it wears. Um, but I definitely need to give the primer some more, like one-on-one -on -one time, the foundation, the face powder. I mean, the... The product that I wanted to love the most was this, and I think I just need to A, get a tan, and then just kind of finesse it a little bit more, but this one, I'm super bummed by. I mean, I do like it, but I think we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try some more. Um, the eyeshadow, I mean, you can't get mad at it. For a couple dollars, that was perfect, and even the glitter, I mean, I'm sure this was under $5, so I'm not even mad at it, it's just the, I don't know, like it's not very opaque, which again is totally fine. But other than that, I mean, I wouldn't say it's, it's terrible. I mean, I do like it. It's hard to try out a thousand like new products at once and see which ones you really do like because you don't know what product is making something not work the way you like it to. So like I said, I can just kind of, I feel like there's a lot of makeup on my face. I feel like it looks like there's a lot of makeup on my face. The highlighter, like... We're definitely, definitely gonna have to try out these products individually, like with my normal stuff. So once I do that, I will give you like a, or an honest rundown. Maybe I'll put it in down below or who knows if I get to wear that much makeup before this video gets uploaded. So I, we will see. Let's see how this wears um, at the golf course. I am gonna run some quick spray over to like get down all the powder products all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one and they're not all this much of a hot mess or maybe they are <sighs> welcome to my life bye